Class is in session, this is the show Where knowledge is profit, just so you know Army Piper, OC guy and trade fly Bringing crypto news to the whole alumni It's the word on the market, the one-stop shop For the info you need every time that it drops The go-to show that you need right now This is Piper Academy, it's all going down, let's go Hey guys, welcome to Piper Academy, a very special edition today. We got a straight fire guest on Drew Wolf. We're going to be coming on today, dropping some knowledge on what's hot in the Drew Wolfer world. Wolf of Finance is going to be uh, uh, doing some movements coming up and then also pre-send. He's going to be breaking down all these projects that you guys need to know about. So stick around. This is Piper Academy. Class is in session. Hey, welcome to Piper Academy. I am Army Piper. We got a very special show today. Uh, Going to be talking to Drew Wolfer, uh, talking about Wolfer Finance and Presend. And we got uh, Crux of Crypto on here. Uh, Going to be helping us understand everything and why you guys need to know about this stuff. So let's go ahead and bring up the panel, Drew and uh, Crux. So uh, guys, what's up? How you guys doing? What's up, Piper? What's up, Drew? Man, can't complain. It's sunny down in Florida. It's Friday Pie Day for everybody, uh, hopefully. So yeah, we're having a good day, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, man. Uh, so just a little background history here of why and how we know Drew. Uh, Drew uh, and 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 me and Crux, we all ran into each other at Consensus 2023 and uh, had done a little bit of talking before then in the uh, crypto space. And But uh, when we met there, I was like, man, this dude, this dude's got he's making moves. He's got some things in the, some, some things in the fire and he's getting ready to uh, make some big, big moves. And you have grown uh, massively since 2023 Drew. So what have you been up to? What's going on with Wolfer finance? Like, uh, cause this, this really was this over here. This was the big thing you were talking about in 2023. I think this mm-hmm. thing has the potential to be even bigger. So I want you to break down like what you've been doing. What are these two amazing companies uh, that are that are working here, and and how can people use these? So let's get into that. Uh, and let's talk about it. What's what you've been doing? What have you been doing? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I appreciate it, man. You you always give such warm intros. I appreciate you guys a lot. Crux actually did a, an incredible amount of due diligence on both of these projects. So shout out to him, man, for everything that he did. He had a lot of really good questions, and uh, I appreciate you guys for even like giving me the the opportunity to come on the channel and talk about it. Um, yeah. So essentially, what Wolfer Finance is and does it's a, it's a blockchain infrastructure company. And what Presend is, if you see the logo over here on the other side of the screen. That's actually a subsidiary company of Wolfer Finance. So Wolfer Finance is kind of like a Web3 conglomerate, right? So we started off with blockchain infrastructure where we essentially host master and validator nodes on the blockchain for profit. That's exactly what we do. It's similar to an on-chain real estate company. And then I had somebody kind of like approach me and they were like, have you ever lost money in crypto? I was like, dude, you're asking the wrong question. Everybody's lost money in crypto. And he was like, no, I mean, have you ever lost money on a cross chain transaction just like accidentally? And I was like, yeah, dude, again, everybody's done that. And he's like, we should invent something that stops that. And I was like, okay. And I was like, do you have like a provisional patent or anything filed on this? This is my co-founder, Lawrence Haliski. And um, he was like, yeah, actually I filed a provisional patent on this uh, about, you know, a few weeks ago, back in June of 2022 on test transactions. And I was like, okay, I think we can talk. And he basically called me up and said, Hey, I want you to build this company, Wolfer Finance. Um, You built that company. It's doing well. You were successful with that. Can you do this for me? And I was like, yeah, it'll be a subsidiary company of Wolfer, but you know, I've got the bandwidth. So we, we took it on and now it's dually patent pending. Uh, But where Wolfer Finance really came into the, to the mix was I started my YouTube channel back in like 2022, 2020. Yeah. About 2022 early. And everybody was like, coming out with all these fake nodes and like all these Ponzi schemes. It's just, I don't know, kind of like, it kind of irritated me that everybody was believing it. And I was like, why are you believing this stuff? They're saying stuff, it's all trigger words, like fake nodes, fake miners, all this stuff. And I was like, this is all BS. Like, why are you believing it? And then I called them all out that they all went and plummeted into oblivion, strong block, Thor, Seifu, all these, you know, Ponzi schemes and terrible projects. And basically people were like, well, if you're so smart, why don't you create one that's not a Ponzi scheme and, and do it yourself? And I was like, <laughs> all right, Wolver Finance. And so that's Challenge accepted. And, um, <laughs> yeah, it was good. So we bought ETH back in 2022. 
Avalanche, Flux, FTM. And basically, I taught people what a real node is, you know, a validator and master node. And it's a very integral piece of the blockchain because without master and validator nodes, and then for at least validation chains, it's all validator nodes. But for the proof of work, that is actually master nodes and the miners. That is the blockchain infrastructure. It's like the railroads of the blockchain. That's what makes it run. So Wolfer Finance is a very integral type of institution that brings a very integral type of infrastructure to that blockchain, whatever particular blockchain it is that you're hosting. And so I'm literally one of the only companies in the entire world that's actually offering this out for people to invest in because who, I mean, how many people do you know that can seriously afford you know, $100,000 Ethereum validator node, $100,000 Avalanche validator node, uh, $100,000, $200,000 FTM validator node, and uh, a fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 Flux node. And we have four ETH nodes. We have a massive, like, almost, you know, three quarters of a million dollars worth of Avalanche validator node. We have a uh, same thing for FTM, massive node that's probably worth half a mil to three quarters of a mil. We have eight top tier Flux nodes. So not only can most people not afford that, nor do they know how to host any of it, but also, can if you were to try to have the same type of diversity, diversification that our portfolio has, it would cost you like $2 million easily right now to have that type of diversification. And plus, we also bought ETH at 1100 We bought Avalanche at 15 bucks, We bought FTM at $0.23. Cents, and we bought Flux at $0.45. Cents. So good luck ever getting those prices again, right? So this is like an almost infinitely scalable company because it's similar to an on-chain real estate company. That's all master and validator nodes are. You take your money, 32 ETH in this example, let's just do ETH as an example. Take 32 ETH, you collateralize it. That's like your down payment on your house. Your house is your server. Your server hosts the node and stores all the blockchain transaction data and validates the transactions forevermore. That is literally your tenant. The blockchain is your tenant and the blockchain data that it's storing is like their, you know, furniture and their family, right? And then you're paid fees from the gas that comes in off of the transactions that real people are doing on these real blockchains. And that is how master and validator nodes earn income, right? And that's like you getting paid your rent from your tenant every single month. And so with Wolfer Finance being like a Web3 blockchain infrastructure company, we kind of like started to branch out into other sectors. And I wanted to start bringing out subsidiary companies and other types of whether it's in the Web3 space or real world assets, similar, like like actually literally doing physical real estate, doing um, cryptocurrency mining operation using flare gas at a facility that already has flare gas hooked up at it and is in my family. Um, getting into the oil sector, if we can go out and have an oil production company subsidiary, which again is a property that is inside of my family. This isn't just random people coming up to me saying, hey, I think I have this. Like, no, we know that we have this. And all it's going to come down to is due diligence, contracts, and obviously funding. None of those new you know, projects are guaranteed. But what I can guarantee you is every dollar that comes in, we could very easily just spin up more validator nodes and keep scaling this into, you know, oblivion. It, it can scale into eternity. It doesn't matter if you have $5. Or, well, I guess it does. You, you need more than $5 to validate master node. Uh, but you could have, you know, $500,000 or you could have $500 million and I could deploy it anywhere. And um, the good news is that those assets have a the ability to appreciate over time as well as you can see like with ethereum being worth almost four thousand dollars right now um that's that's great but i do have to caveat that and say they can also go down in value so you want to be able to time the market as well but that's kind of where i've brought out these opportunities because we actually have we're one of the only two companies at the same time, right, which makes it wild, um, in the entire world that's actually bringing a digital security token issued via a regulated crowdfunding offering on Akimona.com. And you can actually take that digital security token and you house it in your Web3 wallet of choice as long as it's compatible with Polygon because that's what we're issuing it on. But this is the next generation of traditional stocks and shares. And I don't want it to get twisted. These are private companies and I have no intention of taking them public if ever, or at least anytime soon. But my point is, is that we're trying to kind of like be ahead of the innovation. And we understand that the SEC is coming out with guidance. It might take them years to come out with the guidance, but when they do, we want to already be positioned for that. So we thought about this back in 2022 and 2023. And that's why we're bringing out a digital security token to allow people 
you know, retail and non-accredited investors and people that are just normal people that don't normally have access to things like Wolfer Finance, where it's a hundred thousand dollar validator node, like who can afford that, right? Or getting in on an early stage or getting in on a Silicon Valley style software startup that has two pending patents like Presend does. And so I kind of saw that from my perspective because I come from nothing. I came from the mud. I wasn't silver spooned. I, you know, my parents weren't rich and, you know, I got here in the way that I got here. And, you know, it would have been cool if there was a couple of companies out there that were giving access to those top tier kind of assets that, that we're trying to give people access to, or at least exposure to, to retail investors like myself, whenever I was coming up, because I would have appreciated that, you know, having exposure to that type of stuff. And, I don't know anybody that's had the ability to uh, invest in a Silicon Valley style software startup at the, you know, would, that has a developed product and that early because most of the time they have essentially the ventures and the big, you know, institutions that are backing right. them. And those are the ones that get the opportunity. So I'm just, dude, I'm just happy, humbled and appreciative to, to be in the position that I'm in and be able to, you know, bring it out to people and be the face of it, man. I'm the CEO of both companies and, you know, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm along for the ride, man. And I hope that a lot of people join the ride with us and, you know, we'll, we'll be happy to have people in the pre-send family and in the Wolf for Finance Wolf pack. Yeah. Yeah. I absolutely bring up great points that if you're not one of the elite or you don't know somebody that knows somebody or, you know, there's a lot of investment world that we as retail never, ever see. So the fact that you've uh, brought this group together with a, a think tank of how can we bring this to, you know, the average Joe, the average crux, the average army Piper, and let them invest in a way that big smart money has been doing it forever. Um, that's an amazing opportunity that I think you guys have identified how a niche there's a there's a space there to fill and you guys are uh, taking that chance and uh braving forward into the uh into the unknown on bringing that to a bunch of retail people crux you got any questions for drew because i know you did a ton of research uh like you always do you are the brains behind everything that is piper academy so uh go ahead and uh if you have any questions yeah uh, so i looked into both of these companies and i am actually amazed you know i think drew you did a phenomenal job you know so far with these companies um, again, I first heard about Presend a little over a year ago, um, and we've talked about it originally on our stream. I think it was about eight months ago whenever we first started Piper Academy. And it's just good to see all the changes that you've made with Presend. Um, Wolfer Finance, this is the first time that I'm really looking into this one. Um, and I appreciate it because what you're doing is you're helping with um, like decentralization. I'm a firm believer of proof of stake blockchains. You know, and if I got to lend my, my hard earned crypto to somebody, um, you know, you're, you're basically delegating them your governing rights. So they're able to vote on your behalf. Um, and you got to make these sacrifices, you know, to, to kind of, you know, put trust in some other people. So you being fully out there and being, um, you know, transparent with what you're doing. Um, you know, I take my hat off. Um, so talking about, uh, master nodes and, uh, validator nodes, right. With proof of work and proof of stake. I, I looked more into Wolfer Finance and I saw that you're looking to eventually get into crypto mining. Uh, would you want to talk a little bit more about this, Drew? Yeah, absolutely. So I like crypto mining if we can do it with flare gas. I don't want to do it in any other way because as a United States-based company, I like to have operational control over things. I, I, I really have a hard time like letting other people do things because uh, we've been proven many a times that if we let other people handle things, a lot of times they don't get managed correctly. So I like to have operational control over things and ability to kind of go there, right? So if I'm going to be hosting these miners, I'd like to host, host them in the United States and I like to host them in a place where I have access to them because I'm a Florida, I live in South Florida, I'm a Florida boy um, by way of Chicago, I'm from Chicago, but um, essentially I wanna be able to control these things, right? And see and make sure everything's legit. So the easiest way that I saw that was my family actually has a property that has oil wells on it that those oil wells have been pumping for like 10 or 12 years or something like that. Um, they got really lucky in getting that property a long time ago. I was already grown by the time they got that property. So that would have been cool to have when we were like, I was like two years old, but um, <laughs> you know, it didn't, didn't turn out like that. So now those oil wells are essentially, and we can talk about those in a little bit, but those oil wells have this flare gas that comes off of them, right? And it's actually got more flare gas coming off of it than it has oil right now because, you know, oil wells get clogged up after so many years of pumping and stuff like that. And it's powering a, I 
think it's 50,000 square foot metal building warehouse. So essentially we have the ability to hook these miners up with a low cost energy consumption source. And essentially what we're going to have to do, I mean, we're going to have to spend like 250, $300,000 on a big, massive caterpillar generator. I get that. Um, but if we can do that, I would love to get into cryptocurrency mining because we already have the infrastructure out there already built. We just have to get the fixed costs in and then obviously get the best miners, get security, get people to you know manage it around the clock. But what better a place to do that than a place that you could literally just fly in and it's your family's property and you can just walk onto it anytime you want and be like, hey, are the miners working? And you don't have to do it in like Serbia where you have no operational control <laughs> over it. Find that low yeah. like power consumption cost. Yeah, can you uh, briefly talk about like how the validator node and the master nodes you're running currently how you know yeah. um, the actual physical state of those things 100 percent. so yeah actually um I, i'll share the screen so right. let's go to wolfer finance to go to the treasury tab right up here and you can just go to treasury okay and so you can actually see all of our validators right so you can see this is our validator right here and as you can see it's up and running 98 percent effective good blah 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 it shows like the historical performance over the past seven days uh we'll go back and you can check the other three validators they're all there um, and you can verify that these all were hosted by our, um, this is another thing I just really want to touch on just really fast. We are transparent. We show all of our wallet addresses. Here's our treasury wallet, our income wallet, our FTM staking address where we staked our validator with FTM, our injection wallet address for our smart contract. And then here's our active smart contract address and our previously inactive that are no longer active smart contract addresses. So you literally won't see anything more transparent than this. You can literally go here and download an Excel file that has everything all the way back to July of 2022 that shows you literally every transaction, every dollar we've ever made, everything. Um, but yeah, you can go here and you can actually check these things out. And here's our AVAX validator node. Let's click on it, let it load. And uh, this thing has been, you know, 100% delegation, 100% success rate. This thing has been um, <laughs> up since July of 11th of 2022. So like it's been pumping and printing for uh, quite a long time. And you can go in here and you can see all of the delegations that are on there, uh, the validations that uh, we have done, right? And and yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty crazy, man. The the amount of you know, transparency that we can deliver to this market. And here's something else that I want to show you. This is something that absolutely cannot be faked. This is our FTM validator node, and it literally has the Wolfer Finance logo on it, and it's named Wolfer Finance. And this thing's been up and running for a very long time as well. Um, this is actually a second gen node that we had. We had a previous node that was running since I believe it was July of 2022 as well. But I migrated to a new node because I, I the server was just lagging and there was a upgrade to the FTM chain. And I was like, well, let's just spin up a new node. And uh, we've got 824,000 or 813,000 of our own FTM that is actually on this node. And then we've got like 11,000 that's delegated and stuff like that. So yeah, you can go in and actually check all of that. You can check our Flux master nodes right here. And these are, uh, we've got eight of these and you can go and check our uptime and you can verify everything on chain. This is what I love about the blockchain. Everything, the blockchain is undefeated. So it's very, it's very seamless. And as you can see, you can see all of our um, Flux master nodes and uh, bing, bang, boom. This one actually might need to be restarted. So I'll get on that as soon as I get off of here. I probably got a Discord message uh, where it's given me my uh, my little notification inside of Discord that basically says, hey, go uh, restart your node and uh, bing, bang, boom. But yeah, these, these nodes are hosted on soft or on hardware, right? So they're massive, massive servers. And that's what hosts all of our Ethereum validator nodes and our Avalanche validator node. So they're all hosted on like physical hardware. And what you have to do is you have to go into this command prompt terminal and you basically have to put in all of these different commands, host the node, you have to collateralize a bunch of coins, which for Ethereum is like 32 Ethereum, Avalanche is 2000, Avalanche at least. When we got into FTM, it was a 500,000 token stake for you to even run a validator. And then for Flux, mm -hmm. it's um, 40,000 Flux per node. And we have eight of those and we have four of the Ethereum ones. So, yeah. Amazing. So, uh, let's get into like, what's the so what of this? So, let's say, you know, Crux and I decide that we want to get exposure to this and start making some money uh, in the, the, the Wolf for Finance method, right? Uh, how do we go about doing that? How do we, uh, what are the ways that we can get exposure to Wolf for Finance and, uh, and pre-send for that? So, let's talk about yeah. that. 
So there's actually two ways you can get exposure to pre-send, and then there's one way you can get exposure to Wolfer. Well, there's two ways you can get exposure to Wolfer Finance as well, but it's it's the other way isn't isn't so great, right? So there's the first way that you can get exposure yeah, to Wolfer Finance is you can stake your <laughs> you know tokens on our validator node, our FTM or AVAX validator node. I know that's not exciting to anybody. What's really exciting? The the CF token sale. That is where we have brought the you know one of the first companies in the entire world to bring a regulation crowdfund CF token sale that is actually issued in a regulated offering and issuing those tokens in compliance with that regulated offering, right? And so we figured out a way to basically launch token sales in a regulated manner, which is nuts. And it's really awesome. And I'm super humbled and appreciative to be one of the people that can bring it to the world. And there's only a few times that this has ever actually happened. So you can go to the Akamona page and actually I can scare, share my screen and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about um, because it's it's actually pretty, pretty seamless. So you literally go to the Akamona page and we are right here. So it's akamona.com slash offering slash Wolfer, or you can just go to akamona.com, scroll right down here, and you'll see the Wolfer Finance page. You just click on it, it'll show you all the stuff on the offering. Obviously, there's certain things I can talk about, there's certain things I can't, okay? And that's because during every marketing communication, um, you can essentially only do one thing. You can either talk about the offering itself, which is like the terms, like how much does it cost and all those things, or, you can talk about the company. And I think I deliver more value to people if I tell them and I like talk about the companies. So same thing with pre -send. You can go to Akamona and this actually has not opened. This doesn't open until 12.01 Pacific time on Friday, which by the time you all are watching this, um, it will have opened. So hopefully uh, this will be a lot different uh, by the time you get there, the uh, amount raised and stuff like that. And so that is how you get involved. You go in, you can get your digital security token on the Polygon blockchain. You can invest in Wolfer. Uh, you can invest in Presend. And then there's a second way that you can actually invest in Presend. And that's by investing in Wolfer because Wolfer is the parent company of Presend. Wolfer actually owns Presend, a portion of Presend, not all of it, obviously, but Presend is a subsidiary company of it. So if you saw on the treasury page, you saw like subsidiary company ownership, Presend was one of those things in our, you know, technical like portfolio. Um, so yeah, you could also uh, invest in Presend by investing in Wolfer as well. So if Presend you know sells out and gets closed, you can also invest in Wolfer and own a, a little bit of a portion of Presend as well. So, uh, so so what's the minimum investment amount to get into like Wolfer? If I wanted to invest in Wolfer today, I said, hey, we're going to take some Piper Academy LLC funds and we're going to invest and try to roll this so we can help our community out even more with some gains. What's the minimum amount that we would need to get into Wolfer Finance? Yeah, so I can't actually say that. What I can say is it's very minimal. <laughs> it's very minimal. It's like, uh, uh, think about like going and buying some pizza, right? So uh, I always compare everything to pizza because I'm Italian. <laughs> but uh, the reason why I can't say that is because the the regulators make me essentially pick one or two things, one of two things to talk about. And so what I can say though is that if you go to the offering page when it is open, it will tell you right there on the first thing, like okay. minimum, and it, it it's it's not going to be like five thousand dollars or a thousand dollars. So, good to know. Good to know. So, all the links, uh, all the links to if you are looking to uh, some interest into either presend or into Wolfer Finance to get you know presend and plus, um, then check out the, down below. We got all the links down there, and you guys can go. Uh, go look at all this i'm definitely going to be doing some digging into it uh crux uh what else you got for uh drew uh any other questions or any other insights that you want to drop in on this yeah i got a couple questions so as far as like the digital security uh token is that most kind of like a what you think of as like a stock share um or like yeah. even similar to like a lp token to where like you're lending something and you're getting something in return and at any moment you can swap it back out uh, you wouldn't be able to swap it back out because basically with Wolfer Finance, the way that we're bringing in our capital is what we do is we sell the digital security token like we would sell the stock. But if you were to, like similar to how you would buy a stock, right? If you're selling that stock on the market or on the OTC, you're not actually selling it back to the company, right? You're selling it to another individual. And that's obviously like available whenever you have like a, a digital security token. But there are rules to this, right? So in order for um 
CF platforms to comply with rules, there is like a one year lockup period where basically you can like you cannot move your or you cannot sell your uh, stock because it's very similar to like getting in on an IPO. And I'm not saying it's an IPO. So don't like, please, guys, don't think that it's an <laughs> IPO when I say that. It is not an IPO, but it's very similar where they like make you lock that until for a year. But, you know, if you want to like transfer it to your family, nobody's going to tell you not to and stuff like that. But, you know, you cannot sell them for a year. But essentially, yeah, that's what a um, digital security token is. It's like the next generation of stock certificate. It is your vested interest in the company. And um, yeah, it's 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 a really it's a really cool, very seamless means of like transferring that vested interest or ownership in the company. And it's also what helps you understand like, what is my vested interest in the company? And I know that's what everybody's question is going to be. And I'm going to make them mad by saying what I'm about to say that I can't say anything about it because the, I, my lips have to be sealed. But what, one thing I will say, go to the offering page, look at the very top graphic. If you saw it, whenever I shared the screen, you'll kind of understand what I was saying. Look at the very top graphic. And then there's a couple of other graphics that literally say, what do investors receive? And uh, it, it breaks it all down for you on the page. But the SEC makes me basically make people do their due diligence, right? Right. For so. so basically, Larry Fink talks all the time about tokenized assets and tokenized investments. Uh, Drew Wolfer said, uh, hold my beer. I'll beat you to the punch. Uh, is what it sounds like to me. So, <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Yeah. And Drew Wolfer also said, I'm going to go out and invent a solution that disrupts a um, multi-trillion dollar market in blockchain transactions and protect people from losing their funds on erroneous cross-chain transactions. And that same technology can be licensed out to the largest institutions and players in the game for a fee like the Coinbases and MetaMasks and trust wallets and ledgers of the world. And I'm going to file two pending patents on it in 28 worldly jurisdictions. And one of those pending patents is on test transactions, which is essentially simulation transactions and was filed in June of 2022 before anybody was using that tech. And now all these people that are using that tech, if we get issued that patent, we now own the rights to that tech. And nobody was using that before we filed our provisional back in June of 2022, which nobody was. Uniswap uses it now. Coinbase uses it now. Ledger uses it now. Gnosis, all these different platforms. That's when I can kind of call them up and say, hey, you know, we, we own this tech and I don't want you to stop using it because I want you to be able to protect your users. But I also have a more robust solution that will one like almost unequivocally stop anyone from losing their money going into Coinbase. Like we can literally stop you from sending USDC on the wrong blockchain to Coinbase. So just one really quick example. USDC is on like 17 million different blockchains, right? And they all look the same, right? USDC looks the same on all blockchains, right? So essentially it's on Solana, Avalanche, FTM, Polygon, Ethereum, even Binance Smart Chain. So you can send USDC into Coinbase right now. And you can send it on Solana, I believe, Polygon, and Ethereum. But guess what you can't send it on? Binance, Smart Chain, FTM, and Avalanche. So say somebody goes into Coinbase and they're like, I'm going to send $10,000 worth of USDC from my MetaMask wallet into Coinbase. And, there's, and they grab that transaction address and the USD that they see on that transaction address looks the same because it's got the same freaking logo, man. It's very confusing. And then they send that on Avalanche Chain and they lose $10,000 going into that dude. You're going to be having a really bad day. It is not going to be hashtag Friday Pi Day. It's going to be hashtag Friday Cry Day, right? So <laughs> my point is, is you do not want that to happen to you. And that is what pre-send stops. And although retail users can use it right now because we're already implemented into the Chrome, Brave, and Microsoft Edge stores. And we also have a web app that you can utilize. And we're non-custodial too. So Crux, we take no custody of people's crypto. We are just simpatico with their wallet and they have to approve all the transactions themselves. All we can do is prompt it and read what's in their wallet, right? But if they use our software, then they can protect themselves from that happening. And even if retail users don't want to use it, guess who's probably going to want to use it, which is who we're targeting. And that's why we're going to consensus in 2024. We're targeting large scale partners like Coinbase, MetaMask, Ledger, Trust Wallet. And we want to license our tech out to them. And especially now that we have our pending patents filed as of 2024, 
Now it's time for us to go out and get partners. And that's why I'm offering this opportunity out to people before we go and do that. Because I know a lot of people were like, hey, can I still get in on this? And I'm like, no, but I'll see what I can do. And so that's why we brought the crowdfund. Nice. That's awesome. Awesome. Uh, you got some amazing things running, uh, uh, Drew. You've come so far since last year. Uh, all the partnerships that you've gotten with PreSend, with all of these major exchanges and major services, um, and then now offering Wolfer Finance as, as this on ramp for investment opportunity uh, for retail. Just amazing things that you've done, man. And we appreciate you coming on and breaking this down for us. Um, Crux, you got anything that you want to uh, bring up or ask before we uh, wrap this up? But yeah, I think, Drew, you, you answered just about every question correctly. You know, like, I'm super stoked about this thing. I'm ready to, uh, you know, I'm ready to actually put some money into this thing. So, um, so as far as like, so this was a big one. As far as right now, it's EVM compatible and you're looking to possibly branch out into the future. What are some chains that you're looking at? Dude, I love that question. Thank you for asking that because I didn't say anything about that. You're absolutely right. We're EVM compatible. We wanted to prove that we could do that first because that's where a lot of people are losing their money because of the USDC conundrum and like the Binance smart chain and all that. So we're compatible with BSC, ETH, um, Avalanche, FTM, and Polygon right now. So, and we're also compatible sending into six different centralized exchanges. I believe it's Coinbase, Kraken, Binance.com, Binance US, KuCoin, and Crypto.com. And then we're also compatible sending into uh, seven different of the top wallets. It's MetaMask, Ledger, Trust Wallet, Brave Browser, Opera Browser, um, and uh, MetaMask, I believe I already said that, and then Crypto.com, DeFi Wallet, and Coinbase Wallet. So... That is what we're going to do. We're going to continue to scale to the future because obviously there's a million different wallets and you know uh, compatible centralized exchanges we can be. I want to bring out Bitcoin Chain. I literally lost money on Bitcoin Chain sending from a legacy or Segwit to a legacy address accidentally. I lost money. I want to do Solana as well. Mm -hmm. um, and once we solidify that and show these institutions like, hey, We've already got EVM, we've already got wallets, we've already got um, different centralized exchanges we're compatible with. As long as we can show them we can do non-EVM as well, then dude, the world is ours, our, our, our oyster, right? And uh, at the end of the day, what I also want to do is uh, I also want to make sure that I tell people that if I say that we're con we are compatible with a blockchain, like sending on that blockchain, that goes for every token on that blockchain. And we will block you from interacting with scam coins. We will not even allow you to interact with scam coins, first off. Second off, it's compatible with NFTs too, baby. Let's go. Well, I appreciate you coming on today, Drew. Uh, again, anybody watching, if you're interested in this, you want to do your own research on it, see if this is something that fits your investments, check out the links down below. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. But uh, I have done mine, uh, especially with Crux, because he is uh, he's the biggest skeptic on anything that comes in front of him. Uh, so we're definitely looking at uh, doing some stuff with this and uh, looking forward to uh, what you have to come out with in the future, Drew, because you are making moves, bro. And thank you, Drew, for stopping by. Dude, 100%. Thanks for all the good questions, man. Seriously, I appreciate you guys a lot. You guys deliver really, really high quality content. Just Thanks. the fact that I'm on this channel is honestly humbling. So I appreciate you. No, I, we appreciate you, Drew, and uh, we appreciate you dropping all this information for us. Uh, guys, there you go. That is uh, that is Drew Wolfer, Wolfer Finance, and Precent. Uh, Crux doing a deep dive and going to have some information coming out on that. But if you have any interest in doing some research on this yourself, check out the links down below in the description, and you will see uh, some amazing, amazing opportunity uh, open before your eyes. Uh, not financial advice, but we appreciate you guys joining us here, and we will catch you guys right back here next time on Piper Academy. Knowledge that's profit appetite. Classes and session this for the army piper acolytes. Trade flag at the zoo. Train ready. What a line from OCI. Former Mexican spaghetti. Yo, crunch crypto with a deep dive to protect dime. And if you like the visual powered by Tar Prime, then you will part of that num not a source bond. But if you have step fall back to offline, we'll keep that front line covered even when we're dead and gone. We'll find a way to keep going, cause we gon' keep on rolling up the wheels for low. If, if round off to get with them, the ZTS rhythm. Alexandra.
That was awesome, dude!